Hello everyone. My name is William Kidd. Koshchantin and Sean asked me to do their presentation today so here I am. First off, let's quickly go over my biography. I was born in 1654, killed in 1701. Yes, killed. More precisely, I was hung at the execution dock by the same government that commissioned me to set sail. Let that fact sink in for a bit. Yeah, pretty brutal. But let's actually start at the very beginning. By 1690 I became an established sea captain sailing as a privateer for many years. After helping to clear the coasts of New York and Massachusetts of enemy privateers, I entered into a financial agreement with some big politicians in London, and sailed off from Deptford, England in 1696 on the ship, Adventure Galley. The mission was to capture any French ship on our way and bring back all captured loot. Then I would separate that loot between the crew, and myself, and our investors. At the time, England, along with its many European allies, was at war with Louis XIV of France. Old King Louis was trying to extend his territory. Therefore, being sponsored to apprehend French ships by the folks in England would classify me as a good old privateer. The Royal Commission also expanded to pirates who molested ships of the East India Company, in the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. Our ship, Adventure, was a galley with both oars and sails helping us maneuver in any wind condition. Of course, I had to look out for larger, more powerful ships since we wanted to capture others, not get captured ourselves. But beyond that, our newly built vessel had enough punch with 32 guns to get some good loot. Well, after some travel, my men and I didn't have much luck. This made my crew a wee bit irritable, and that lousy dog Moore, William Moore's the name, was downright mutinous. So, obviously, I hit him over the head with a bucket. Gotta show him who's boss, you know. Well, I must not know my own strength, cause Moore died that very same day, due to bucket-related injuries. Wasn't my intention but serves him right. So, in the end, we kinda did some piracy on the side. Mocha coffee from Yemen was the booty we were hoping to get but ended up only capturing some small ships. When we finally got to stop a couple of large merchant ships. I would share with you the names of them but to be honest I was never any good at French. But can you guess what they had on board? French passes. Yes, it was actually legal for me and my boys to attack them. Well not entirely but I won't go into the details. This whole pass thing got me all excited, so I yelled out, By God, I have got you. You are a free prize to England. I've gotten word that some Tim Travers guy thought that me saying that makes me a privateer, so I will say that it is absolutely correct. Later on, we traded most of our loot to gold in Madagascar, mostly because it would be easier to separate the booty. Well as fate would have it, we also ran into an old enemy of mine, Robert Culliford, and that lousy pirate ran off with most of my crew. After surviving all kinds of mutiny and finally reaching New England, I found one of my original backers, Lord Bellamont. And that blasted scoundrel got me arrested. Apparently, the ships I attacked marked me as a pirate and also someone notified him that I killed one of my gunners, that William Moore fellow. I mean, my team and I were already hoping to ask for some sort of pardon since we suspected the news of our wrongdoing already came through, but whatever. I also suspect that Bellamont wanted to get more of my loot while pretending to be a governor that doesn't support us, since everybody was turning away from pirate sponsors at the time. Politicians what can you do? Am I right or am I right? After spending up to two years in those filthy London jails, Marshall C and Newgate, my trial went bad, like really bad. Remember those two French passes I was so excited about? Gone. They lost them. If you look at the trial transcript, it proves I wasn't going to plead until my rightful documents were delivered, but it was all useless. Shortly after being convicted of Moore's murder, they hung me on May 1701.
but I survived. The rope actually snapped. I was like, are you William kidding me? Sadly, they just hung me a second time, what a shame. On that disappointing note, I think that is enough talk from old Captain Kidd. Have a great day and don't become pirates.